Hey fellow YouTubers, welcome to the Dustin Hinkin Show. Today's video I'm going to uh, talk to y'all about, you know, what's going on and everything. Let me kind of bring the camera back a little bit. There we go. You know, I, um, the incident with my my sister coming in taking my stuff and stuff like that and i won't get it back until christmas well after christmas um i'm gonna go ahead and tell you you know the reason why this is came up about you know um it's gonna be hard for me to say this but what my sister is trying to do is where, you know, I blew almost a thousand dollars and a thousand dollars, well, yeah, a thousand dollars was supposed to be for my home to put in my walk-in shower and all that. Well, um, I decided to blow it on skirts and some other stuff and championship rings that is not real. But, you know, I feel stupid for doing this. I feel like, I feel, you know, I feel stupid for doing it, you know. Let me kind of bring this over a little bit where it can be charging while I'm talking to y'all. Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's charging now. You know. I feel I feel stupid for doing this. But the reason why I done it is because every time I want to order something off from my spending money, not my living expense money. Um, I'm always getting arguments with my father about stuff I want, you know, like the skirts and stuff like that. Um, well, that's the reason why I did it, you know. I felt like, you know, it's my spending money. I could do whatever I want with it. I'm tired of arguing about it. <laughs> you know, I'm just tired of it. And it's really, it really gets to me. That's the reason why I did what I did. I know it's wrong. I know it was wrong for me to do that. I understand it's my money. But that money was supposed to go towards my home. This. Supposed to get me a walk-in shower. Supposed to put a new carpet in my living room, kitchen, not my kitchen, bedroom, and the other bedroom, the spare bedroom. But that was on my part. I shouldn't have done it. And my sister wants me to grow up, to be a man, to be responsible for my own actions, be responsible for, you know, with my money and don't blow it all on, on stuff. She don't mind me blowing my spending money on whatever I want. That's, that's, you know, that's okay. But it does, when somebody comes in and takes your stuff, it does gets to you quick. And it's bothering me. But not as bad that it did before. When it first started like a couple days, maybe a week. It don't bother me as bad, but it does still bother me. I don't have my skirts. I don't have my guns. I don't have my belts. I don't have none of that. Most of my stuff is gone. Except my PlayStation TVs. My Xbox and, you know, stuff like that. Well, it 
really, I'm just going to tell you it's my fault that I'm going through this. But I'm going to tell you, if my father never, ever argued with me with it, and he said, I don't care what you buy with your spend of money. I mean, I understand I'm going overboard with jean skirts. I understand that. But it's my money. I don't care what people say. And it really doesn't matter how many freaking skirts I, I buy. It's I enjoy buying them and wearing them and showing off with them. But get back where I was saying. My sister wants me to manage my own money, to be my own person, instead of having other people, you know, taking care of that for me. She wants me to take care of it for myself. And I do have a life bill. I do have um, a house payment. I do have um, grocery bill. I do have internet and phone. And she don't want me to spend all my money and pin on somebody else to bail me out. That's why she did what she did. To wake me up. To tell me I need to grow the fuck up. Because, I mean, oh yeah, I was mad. I mean, I did say I was going to kill myself. Take my gun and shoot my own self in the head. I was really pissed off. I told her a lot of stuff. I don't give a shit about this family. This family is a piece of shit. I said that because I was enraged for what she was doing you know, what she was doing in my house. But she did it out of love. It hurt her more than it hurts me. And, well, it did hurt me. But I just wanted to, you know, the reason why I'm doing this video is just to express myself and all of this and if anybody if anybody is like I am is you know I did con my dad I did steal and stuff like that I was going on the road as going down the road let me rephrase that. I was going down to the wrong road. I wasn't going down to the right road. The reason I said I conned my dad out of a lot of stuff to get whatever I want. Well, my mother was a con artist. And I guess I fell into that same category of my, my birth mother. And... It really, it really does, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. I do not want to con. I do not want to take things. I know I took my own money and, 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 you know, they said I stole my money. In a way, I did. In a way, I stole the money from my house, basically. My house needed more than I did. The, the saying is, but guys, you've got to understand that I am changing. What I mean was, what I mean ab about that, I don't get this. You know, when I go to the grocery store, I always hide stuff I want to get. It's very expensive or something I already got and already ate. Like the steak, for example. I did get another pack of steak. T-bone steaks, okay? Get this. My dad said I needed, I need to, you know, I got, I ate steak last, that night. 
Okay. I didn't even argue. I didn't even try to go to the darn, you know, the register. I said, yes, sir, I'll put it back. I never do that. Something about what happened, my sister taking my things and all of that, something changed. I say yes, sir, no, sir, to my father all the time. He says something, I say, yes, sir. No, sir. I'll say, sir. You know, I've never done that before. i never done that before. I say, yeah. Okay. You know, stuff like that. But I never said yes, sir, no, sir to my father. I never said yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am to my, mo my mom, my stepmom. I never said that in front of my sister either. When she was asking me a couple questions, I said, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am, you know, stuff like that. I've never done that, ever. Well, a stranger, I will say that, but my own family, I would never send that, never said that. But something happened that day that, that you know, changed me. That was a wake-up call because... Guys, I was going down to the wrong path here. I was worrying, spending all my money. And, well, my dad will bail me out. You know, he'll pay my bills. My dad ain't going to be there for the rest of my life. He's he's 73 year, 72 years old now. And he ain't going to be there all my life. You know, I... I need to change. I mean, I need to be my own person. I need to be an adult. But my sister don't care about me wearing skirts. She don't care if I buy any more or whatever. As long as I use my spending money. You know what I'm saying? I mean... I know I'm going haywire with the skirts, but hey, as long as I be honest with my father and said, but this time around, if I want to order a skirt or anything else or a championship ring out of my spending money, I will say what I want to order. He gives me the card. I can order it myself instead of he ordering it for me. And, yeah, my sister and my dad said I couldn't have ordered it myself. I had to have help. And I tried to tell them I done it all on my own. I didn't have to have, ask Rudy. I didn't have to ask Joey. I did it on my own. But what gets me is they're saying I'm not capable of doing that. But they don't realize, I I mean, I'm smart in certain ways. I may can't hold a read and write good, but there's other things I can be smart at. Then another thing is, what happened was, when my sister told me that she got noticed of me, people telling her, I go into the grocery store, I stink. I wash my body. I mean, I take showers. In a little while, I'm about to go take me another shower today. What she means by my hair. My hair. Well, that after all that happened, I got my hair cut. I said I would never cut my hair. I would never cut my hair. Never. But that incident, it it shocked me so bad. And I just felt like, you know, I had everything taken away from me. I felt hopeless. I felt powerless. Only thing I could do is she told me, You'll get your stuff back if you change. 
the first thing I did was cut my hair. That's the first thing I did. The next day, the next day, I bust my ass working for my dad the next day. Since that happened. But guys, what I'm saying is, is I need to change my ways for the better. Y'all really don't know me as that well. You don't know about my lifestyle, okay? I'm not capable of managing my own money. I would, I would blow all my money on stupid shit. Just like what I did. But I could keep all that. I will get it all back in December. Trust me. My sister told me you would get it back. She was talking about a year and a half. She was talking about January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August of next year. But the well I'm the way I'm doing, the the goodness I'm doing, I'm changing. I'm getting it by the end of this year. And that's going to be about three months because we're about to go in uh, September. Um, what I'm saying is, guys, y'all really don't know me as good. Y'all know me as the skirt-wearing man. I love skirts. I'm a good person. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I... I always, you know, some of the skirts I got, I conned my dad out of them. He just did it just to shut me up. Well, this time around, it's not going to be like that. I'm going to go up to my dad. I said, Dad, I want to buy the skirt. I want to be, I said, Dad, could I be honest with you? This is what I want to order. I said, I want to order this skirt. It looks good. I want it. You know, he would probably say, yeah, okay. He said, go ahead and order if you want to. See, that's the way I would like for it to happen. And, and, you know, I already told him, I already told him, no more of, you know, telling me no. Telling me, you got too many already. Enough is enough. You know, it's not, it's not that. As long as I is honest, as long as I are, is good, as long as I kept he helping my dad out, whatever he wants me to do, I can get whatever I want. I understand the way I'm saying it is kind of like, you know, if I be bad, he's not going to do that. No, it ain't going to happen that way no more. This day forward, well, not today, today. When it happened about two weeks ago, that day, since then, I haven't done a bad thing ever. I was honest with my father. That's the reason why 